I walked out of work on yesterday and told my wife, I'm just not motivated to make videos for Tech Journey right now. I just don't want to make videos anymore as a contracted account executive. So Atiyah's response was, don't view yourself as a contracted account executive. View yourself as a content creator. Listen, most of you click this video searching for someone to tell you the truth about what it's really like working in the tech sales role. And my wife and I made it our commitment to properly document our journey when we decided to pursue a career in tech sales and begin this YouTube channel. So if you are considering this space of tech sales as your next career, here are two cautions that I have for you. Caution one, it's not an overnight success story. It has been 420 days since Atiyah and I decided to enroll in a course which would begin that journey into a career in tech sales. 15 months after this decision, my wife is still in the entry level position of SDR and I am actually still in a contracted role, not a direct hire role by the company that I'm working for. Atia is approaching 12 months of work. I'm approaching 11. And listen, it may not be that bad, but I'm somewhat of a mild overachiever. And quite frankly, Atia and I are not currently on target to actually hit our projected financial goal for this year. To give you some light, my wife still was fortunate enough to get somewhere between eight to 10 weeks off of work for maternity leave. Uh, as she gave birth to our fourth child in October. And we're very grateful for that, okay? And her income is indeed substantially more than what she has brought in on any other job. But nevertheless, keep things in perspective. She is still in the entry-level position. And for me, I'm not even technically fully hired by the company that I'm with. Now, the path that I chose was to accept a contracted position with one of the best rated companies in tech to actually work for. I have experienced a promotion to an account executive position from a lead development rep since I've been there. And over the past three months, which is the first quarter of the fiscal year for my company, it appears that I have led all of the account executives in revenue obtainment for this quarter. And yes, this includes the bulk of the account executives being direct hires. So needless to say, my intentions was to become a direct hire by this time. But keeping things in perspective, I'm currently fighting for an account executive role for one of the top tech companies there is to work for, in which when that day does come where I am hired directly, my pay would substantially change immediately. So I say all of this to say, be cautious. This is not a overnight success story. Caution two, it will cost you time to be good. Now, why do I say be good? Well, this is sales and being average, quite frankly, is not good enough. Now, please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there's no hope for a person that performs on an average level. But my guess would be that most of you who are tuning into this video right now are not entering into tech sales so that you can make a little bit of money. And the high earnings comes from being good. Now, concerning costing you time, um, in order to work on my craft, build my business acumen, and put myself in the best position I felt that I could to be a top performer, I have spent anywhere from 15 to 20 hours per month outside of work hours doing this. Now again, I'm somewhat of a mild overachiever and I do believe that the time invested is paying off and has put me in a good position to come on as a direct hire with the company as well as build my skill set to be a contributor to a different company if it comes to that. So in conclusion, is tech sales for you? 
Well, you have to determine that. Just out of the integrity of this channel, we just like to give you what we feel like is an actual glimpse as to what is going on with us concerning this career. Do I like working in tech sales? I believe I do. I mean, I like working from home every day and not having to actually go to work on the weekends. So if you still are curious about a career in tech sales after this video, or perhaps other areas of tech, then be sure to check the links in the descriptions for more insight as well as discounts on courses that can help you segue into a career. Y'all take care.